My name is Dr. Shiv Kumar. I am a cornea cataract refractive surgeon and a comprehensive ophthalmologist. Drooping eye is nothing but drooping of the eyelid. It can happen in one or both eyes. The symptoms are generally seen in any age group. It is just the drooping that is there, which is either painless or painful. People who are having underlying systemic issues are more vulnerable for drooping eye. It can be uncontrolled diabetes or it can be some neurological cause that may lead to drooping eye. Drooping eye is caused by multiple factors. It can be congenital, means it is there right from childhood. Two, it can be neurotic. So, neurological issues or a damage in a nerve can cause a drooping eye. Three, it can be myogenic. Some kind of a muscle problem can cause a drooping eye. That means the muscle that is actually prevents from drooping is damaged or it can be aponeurotic. There can be some problem in the junction of the muscle and the nerve. Five, it can be traumatic. Any kind of trauma directly to the eye can cause a drooping eye. Drooping eye most of the time indicates an underlying health condition. Sometimes it may be as serious as a myasthenia grave. Sometimes it can be as simple as an uncontrolled diabetes. So any kind of a drooping eye, we need to investigate further and uh, an opinion of a neurophysician and an ophthalmologist is very much needed. Drooping eye is mainly diagnosed clinically. Ptosis as such can be measured depending upon the severity. Clinician is the right person to actually diagnose the cause of ptosis. It cannot be diagnosed by any uh, investigation as such. Treatment options of drooping eye are varied, mostly depending on the cause. If it is a congenital ptosis, most of the time they need a surgery after they grow up. If it is uh, something called as a neurological problem, then they may mostly need some kind of uh, neuropathic medications. If it is due to uncontrolled diabetes, they urgently need control of diabetes. If at all we treat the underlying cause, most of the time it is reversible. Sometimes irreversible damage that causes ptosis, we may need surgical intervention. So surgical intervention also does have good results. In order to prevent ptosis, we just need to control diabetes and the underlying systemic diseases that itself prevents from developing drooping eye.